Samaritan. A new year is fast approaching, and we're tempted to make a new year's resolution to learn a foreign language in 2020. But I want to tell you, think again, because if we're learning in our spare time, it's going to take us years to learn a foreign language. Years. I have a story for you. Two guys in high school in Poland took many English classes and they decided that their classes weren't working. They were not fluent. They could read, but they read very slowly and laboriously and they had to use a dictionary to understand it. And they couldn't speak. So they decided to just learn English on their own and they made flashcards and put them on the computer. The flashcards were based on what they read in books and, or what they saw in subtitles. They read, what, 60 pages a week of English, like this. Here's my, this book is in, in Spanish. If I read all this, that'd be one page. Okay, so they read 60 pages a week and they watched movies or TV programs or listen to audiobooks or something or other for six hours a week. Six hours a week of listening, 60 pages. And you know how long it took them to get fluent? Three years. Three years. And remember, they were already at the point where they could read. And it took them three years. Now, after that, they knew English very well. But this just goes to show, it takes a lot of time, that, that um, those two Polish guys made a website about how they learned English, and it's called Antimoon. It's a weird name, but that's what it is. So you can check out the Antimoon website if you want to see it and see how they learned English. I believe it's 100% legit, and it's true. If you listen to the language you want to learn six hours a week and you read 60 pages and you make some flashcards, it could work for you, but it's going to take time. If you're doing it with children, you can read children's literature, you can watch children's shows. I do not recommend you do the flashcards with them because they're not going to like it and they're not going to pay attention to it and it's going to be a pain in the buns, so just give up on that part. Um, Sorry to be such a Debbie Downer, but it's true. Come, look at my little bundle of joy. Well, my former bundle of joy. Oh my goodness. Oh, Happy New Year. Can you say Happy New Year? Happy New Year to all my viewers. And I hope next year I get some more viewers and we work on it together. We are going to get fluent. We are. Maybe not in 2020, um, especially for the very beginners, but we are going to get fluent. Yeah. It just takes time.